This is Jack. Merry Christmas. This is my Merkaba coil um, that is uh, suspended uh, and has a, a neodymium rotor inside, but it's suspended uh, with a, from a, an octahedron made out of uh, little sticks. Then, and here's my standard driver, and I'll go over the circuit and stuff. I want to show you how much voltage this thing will generate. So here we go, let's get it turned on here. Um, plus 12, 12 volts from a brick. Get it started. So thank you. It goes up to about 6,000 RPM. You can see uh, now it's uh, 297, 300, 312, 325. <clears throat> it goes all the way up to 400 plus volts. And it's two sets of um, coils wound around the Merkaba. And of course the Merkaba is one of these kind of things. It's um, two tetrahedrons. Um, intermeshed or interleaved with each other. And then here's the circuit, see guys. Uh, here's the rotor, you can see. So the whole thing is just uh, um, one magnet, one sensor. And here's the circuit. And the circuit is um, pretty standard. I wanted to show that again, which is there's the four coils in series, then the um, sensor which uh, picks up a negative going pulse, the uh, Hall sensor, and then it feeds it to the PNP transistor, the negative which is negative on the base and it triggers the transistor. Then it is sort of like a follower of a negative pulse and goes to the MOSFET. Now the MOSFET has a very high voltage capability. And then off the gate of the MOSFET, you can have various loads. In this case, you have uh, more than 400 volts on this uh, big capacitor. Well, it's a high voltage capacitor. Um, smaller ones, it'll charge up. So that shows that the Bedini back spike is pretty high. And uh, I wanted to say uh, Merry Christmas to everybody. And um, here is... That's about it. Thank you very much.